If you're looking to manifest what you want, now is a very good time for it. Why? Because many of you may know that um, actually on the 8th was the Lion's Gate portal was wide open. And when it's wide open the, with the new moon energies, it's very good for new beginnings. And some people, they think, oh, well, I missed the new moon, but actually you've still got a four-day window because it will go all the way till the 12th of August. So make sure if you're wanting to manifest things fast, then make sure to leverage off this energy, this vortex that's happening right now. And I'm going to share with you how to do so in this video but before we get into it showreel hit it Hey everyone, this is Sri Akashna here. Great to see you all. And in this video, I want to break down for you a few things, a few practices that you can do to be able to make use of the Lion's Gate portal. Now, if right now it has not yet hit after the 12th of August, then you are still in luck because the portal is still open. Although on the 8th, it was widest, meaning the energy was most powerful, the vortex was, was most powerful, but the four day window afterwards, it still works. And um, basically this is the uh, Leo sun aligning with the uh, Sirius star. When it aligns, then it creates this huge energy portal and you can class it a little bit like a quantum leap or quantum jump. By placing your intentions setting your vibrations all in alignment with this portal in meditation and different practices that I'm going to break down for you in this video, um, you'll be able to um, harness those energies, be able to take your energy out of third eye and go through that portal and bring those energies back into this physical reality, therefore being able to speed up your manifestation by at least 10 times, 100 times, or sometimes even a thousand times, depending on when you are doing this practice. Okay, so a few things to bear in mind, first of all, is um, I would probably do practices early on in the morning. I think that's a very good time for manifestations in general. Um, so the practice that I would specifically recommend for you right now is to focus on cleansing first. Now, some of you may be thinking, why cleansing? Because you're probably thinking, I'm looking to manifest what I want, not to get rid of something that I don't want. But actually, the thing that stops most people from getting what they want is because they have too much clutter that they're manifesting at the same time. And how we do this cleanse is very simple. Before going into meditation to do a very simple activation of the energy center and how you can do that, um, maybe practice it today, practice tomorrow, depending on how many days you've got left on this uh, Lionsgate window. Um, so what you would do is you would do a gentle flutter breath. So you, you would breathe in and out four times per second uh, through the nose and your uh, stomach area will contract and it will inflate. So it will look a little bit like this. So it'll be very fast, short breath in and out while the stomach is expanding and contracting. Now, what that will do is that will activate your energy center where a lot of stuck energies are there, block, blocked energies are there, um, uh, any doubts, fears, those things are usually stored in energy belts. So when you do that, what happens is it will allow all the energies to clear. So that's the first thing you want to do. Okay. Then the second thing you want to do is you want to draw that breath from your energy center, which is actually your manifestation uh, center. Your manifestation energies are here. Some people refer to as sexual energies. And that's why uh, Napoleon Hill also speaks about sexual transmutation. So the second breath you want to do is you want to draw the breath from the stomach area up to the head. Okay, so that'll be closest to third eye. So how you do that is with a simple inhale, you bring that breath up to the head and you will hold it. When you're holding that breath, it's important that you squeeze the lower centers. So uh, it's also called like an abdominal lock or a root lock in, in yogic practices. So we'll squeeze the lock. When we squeeze, it will allow for a chemical release on the pineal gland through to the third eye. Okay, so that's the second breath you want to do. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how long do I do this for? So you take an inhale, hold the breath for as long as you can while you're holding, squeeze the lower uh, energy centers. And when you squeeze, you'll feel some sort of chemical release here. Then you know it's activating. Okay, so that will allow your energies to transmute 
through Lionsgate portal to harness those energies for your manifestation. So that's the second thing. Each breath, the first breath, you'll probably do for five, uh, five to 10 minutes maximum. The second breath, you'll probably do for five to 10 minutes. So in total, you've got 10 to 20 minutes so far of this practice, okay? Now, then what you do next, once your energies are up here and you've cleared any unwanted energies and you've activated, naturally cleansing and healing will happen at this point, okay? Now what you do is you will visualize towards third eye, you will visualize a bright light, okay? Now that bright light will represent the Lionsgate portal that is wide open right now. So when you visualize, you'll visualize a bright light, a white light, very, very bright. Visualize it. Now, don't be there questioning, am I making this up or is it actually happening? Because the moment you question, what will happen is you'll be back into human mind and therefore, for certain, you're making it up. You're not actually um, being able to connect to those energies, okay? We always say the mind, you have to bypass the mind to open up the gates for third eye, okay? So now, when you visualize, just keep seeing the light, visualize the light, make it brighter and brighter and brighter. It will only take maybe 30 seconds or something like that. Focus on the light intensely, no thoughts. And then what you want to do is you want to visualize yourself moving your breath, take an inhale up to the head and exhale, you move forward through the third eye into the gateway. Now, when you've moved into the gateway, you take an inhale, you take an exhale, then what will happen is you will feel that the light has become all around you, no longer just in front of you. That's when you know you have arrived. Again, try not to question, try not to use mind because that will keep bringing you back into this physical reality, okay? So just visualize yourself there and you're there so while you are there, the light is all around you. When the light is all around you, what practice would you like to do there? Very simple. You would visualize yourself sat in the center of this huge energy portal that is open right now, okay, with the new moon for new manifestations. And in this moment, what you would do, you will visualize yourself closing your eyes in this space. And then you will look to the third eye one more time, the mind's eye. And towards the mind's eye, you start visualizing your greatest manifestation. So that could be the love of your life. It could be the career, your career path. It could be your business. It could be making more money. It could be a car. It could be a house. It could be anything you want. Okay. So what you want to do in that moment is to visualize the thing towards your third eye. Okay. Visualize in the mind's eye your manifestation as if it's happening right now in this very moment. Now, while you're visualizing it, the most important with the visual is see it, add more clarity, be totally focused with all of your energy there. And what you uh, must do is amplify your emotions. Because I always say emotions is energy in motion. So it will speed up your manifestation if you connect to those vibrations. Okay. So while you're visualizing as if you have that car already or have that dream partner already, okay, then you're visualizing feel every emotion. So ask yourself the question, how am I feeling? Okay, I feel joy, I feel excitement, I feel so happy, I feel so in love. Whatever you feel, feel it. Allow that feeling to amplify. If you can get emotional in this state, like so joyful that you start tearing, even better, okay? Because that is the higher the emotion, the higher the vibration, the faster the attraction, okay? So you will do that for some time, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes if you wish, okay, in that portal, feeling it. Then what you would do is you will draw, when you're finished with the visualization and feeling it, you feel the amplified emotions. Then what you do, you take an inhale, you draw all your energies back into this physical reality. Then you'll feel tingly sensations happen in your heart, in your stomach area, through your palms, everywhere, even on your face. You'll feel those sensations. When you feel those sensations, allow yourself to become one with those vibrational frequencies. Feel the love, feel the joy. And once you're done with that, then slowly, slowly, when you're ready, come back out. Okay, so that's the very powerful manifestation meditation I recommend all of you to do within this window frame. And it'll be very nice to know your comments, uh, your experience of it, what you feel, 
because always remember when you think something, when you visualize something, when you, when you speak about something, that's one thing. When you write about something, if you type inside the comments, that manifestation, then that's added vibrational frequencies, that's added alignment towards the thing that you want to attract, okay? So, um, if you enjoyed this video or you got anything out of it whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, that will help get this message reach out to more people who need this message right now. And also, make sure to comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from, that's always nice to know. And make sure to save this video as well, so that you can do it on the daily practice and come back to this video and share your success story because that will always help other people manifest their desires and there's nothing better than helping other people reach their dreams too. Um, and other than that, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Ciao.